most humans are afraid of the snakes, whether it was small or large. Some may be able to handle it, others are not. Well, most of us to be exact. You really do not know what these snakes will do to you, if they will bite you or just crawl on you. In Australia, venom snakes are common, and in India, they even sleep close to it. Of course, they are in a jar. Here are the list of the venom snakes that you might want to keep in mind. Green mambas are the smallest of all the mamba relatives. However, don't be fooled by its size for this snake pucks a powerful venom. Unlike the famous black mamba, these green mamba snakes are non-aggressive. They will try to scrape when threatened. However, they will attack when cornered or continuously provoke. It is also has the black mamba's venom, however, it is only one-tenth of a toxin. Green mamba's best ability is their color. They quickly blend with the trees. Most often, victims of the green mamba's bites are gardeners or farmers who pick up fruits. Tiger snakes is native to Australia. Their venom consists of multiple toxins such as neurotoxins, meatoxins, and hemotoxins. Like the Philippine cobra, no treatment within 30 minutes can be fatal. Unfortunately, this species has a bad reputation because of its aggressive nature and toxic venom. However, the tiger snake should be recognized as a great survivor, superbly adapted to some of the most inhospitable environments in Australia. A bite from the snake will cause breathing difficulties and paralysis, pain around the bin area, numbness, and sweating. The venom of the tiger snake is strongly neurotoxic, and anyone suspected of being bitten should seek medical attention immediately. The Philippine cobra venom is extremely potent. They are also capable of speeding it within 3 meters or 9.8 feet in range. Research shown that the snake venom is purely neurotoxin which affects the victim's respiratory malfunction and eventually cause death. It has been reported that no treatment within 30 minutes will be fatal. These cobras will just run away, however, it will attack when provoked. And you don't want to provoke the snake since they don't need you to be near in order to bite you. Remember, they can speak. Once bitten, the victim will experience nausea, headache, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, collapse, convulsion, and eventually death. Death adder is found in Australia and New Guinea. Unlike other snakes that flees and run away when they detect humans, death adder will just lie in and wait, waiting to be stepped on. Most bites of death adder are accidentally step on since these snakes like to lie on the ground. What's worse is their scales look like the ground itself, so it's really hard to distinguish if that's a snake you're stepping on or just a normal ground. As its name states, this kind of snake usually hunt and kill other snakes. Death adder is considered to be the fastest striking venom snake in the world. It can strike its opponent with their venom and goes back with their striking again position in less than 0.15 seconds. If bitten, the victim will experience paralysis followed by respiratory arrest and if left untreated within 6 hours, death will occur. A dosage of 10 mg of their venom can kill a human. An adult death adder can deliver up to 180 mg in a single bite. Eastern brown snake can be found in Australia as well. These kind of snakes are very aggressive. They are territorial. When they see a person in their territory, they will chase that person and bite if necessary to chase it out. Other snakes will just bite and run if they are threatened. Eastern brown snake will bite many times in a single attack. Their preferred habitat is among the major population of Australia. Their venom contains a neurotoxins. According to studies, it is the second most venomous snake in the world. They are responsible for more deaths every year in Australia than any other group of snakes.